Only Jambi could bring Laramido and Larry Sego in the same room. This is like 60% of the national supply of Larry's. It's definitely 100% of the supply of bald, bearded Lua men named Larry. Thank you. Finally, you're laughing. Um, I say a lot I'm from Siaya. Uh, Jambi, but I went to school in Kisumu. Jambi loved going to Kisumu. Uh, as I've said before, she's like, also dumo na ni penda. Also dumo, also mini rank sana, sana, sana. It was one of the joys of her life to go and do shows in Kisumu because she just couldn't understand that all the way in Kisumu, she would do a show and people were psyched for her. That they'd come to her show, they loved her, everybody wanted to take a picture, she'd have full venues. That was one of the true joys of her life. And when we went back to the trend this past week to do a tribute for Jambi, because that's the only way we wanted to honor her memory, a lot of people said it was nostalgic. Uh, only the millennials. The Gen Z's didn't know who the fuck, um, I apologize. The Gen Z's didn't know who these wazes were. Uh, they were like, is this the guy for the leaking airport and the stadium? Um, Jambi and I first overlapped at Daystar. I don't know if you knew that. Uh, but we reconnected at Nation. And when I started to, when we added an extra hour of the trend, and I was selecting the people I wanted to have on the panel, I went to Jambi and Shiro first. And my whole brief to them was like, listen, we're going to do this thing. It's an experiment. Ikikata sawa to mejaribu. Ikiweza sawa. And I was like, if you come on the show, I want you to be hilarious or shady. And Jambi was both. So I was like, Jambi, tukwa TV. Cheza chini. Ninini? Unachoma? Tutafukuzo wapa hivi? But she came and she came fully as herself. Every single Friday. There were times when she was in pain, when we'd sit in the little boardroom outside the NTV newsroom, and she'd had a difficult week. She was having a bad day. Then we'd go on the air, and for an hour, she'd bring joy to the country. She'd bring spirit, and she'd bring so much laughter. And that is the thing I remember most and love about Jambi, that even in the midst of our own pain and suffering, she was still a light to so many people. And Jambi was only a year older than me, but she lived multiple lifetimes. By the time she was on the trend, she had already been a news anchor. She'd already been a radio host. She was a reggae DJ. She'd lived all these other lives that we only saw her. She spoke French, she had two degrees. And you'd see her on stage, and she was like possessed in that scene. That, for me, is the inspiration that I take from, from Jambi to live fully, to live meaningfully, to die empty. And I think she did. So I wanted to come and celebrate that and encourage us to live fully. Don't let your degree be your entire personality. Don't let your job be your entire personality. Explore all this, those different aspects of your life. And we honor her struggle. We celebrate her triumph over adversity and pain. And we'll keep her name alive. So I'll leave you with the last thing Jambi told me the last time I saw her. God, our bless. Thank you very much. Uh, as I said, <laughs> two Larrys in the same room, and I think we are the only Luos are called Larry. But Pia, now, now that we are only two, Pia wai unachoma. You know, choma kidogo apo. As 